Hello, this is Michael McCarthy. In this video, we're going to take a look at using Ornatrix and the new Generate Guide Data modifier to create an LOD type scene with our character. This way, what we can do is have our camera kind of move in and out, and as we get closer to our character, our character will have more finer detail hair, and as we go away, some of the hair will be culled if the character is in the background and not so much needs to be generated and rendered. So to start with that, we need a camera. Here's my camera in the scene, and you can see that over about 100 frames, it kind of zooms out. And what we want to do is, when we're close to the character, have this fine detail we see here, and when we're far away, that we have uh, less hairs that we need to generate. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and look at the camera itself, and we'll take a look at the target distance. So you can see it's about 440 units at its furthest distance from the character and that's going to be something that's important. With a hair selected, we're going to go over to Edit Guides, go into the modifier list, and we're going to choose OX Generate Guide Data. This is going to allow us to make a new guide channel that is going to be dependent on a few different things. We have all sorts of different generation methods that we can use here. This one I'm going to name LOD Hair. And under Generation Method, you can see we have constant, random, strand length, and all the way at the bottom, strand distance to object. Once we choose that, then our uh, target object will be enabled, and we can go ahead and pick the camera as our target object. So now we're kind of basing this channel on that uh, distance from the camera, and we can set up a few values. I'll jump down to the bottom here and look at the source value range, and this is really the value range that um, indicates how far the object is from the camera. So we'll set the maximum distance to that 440 and the minimum distance uh, to something like maybe 10 units. Alright, so now when we're for far away that's going to be our maximum distance and when we're close that's going to be our minimum distance. Now in target value this is what's going to control how the hair looks. So we know that in our minimum distance of being very close, we actually want this to be 100%. So this is a multiplier, so I'm going to set this to 1. And when we're far away for the maximum, I'm going to set this to maybe a 0.2. So we want to have that much less hair. Now in order to kind of link this up, we just have to go into Hair from Guides and scroll down. And under the Dense Distribution Settings, this is where you might add a map or a, another uh, channel that you've created. We can go into Assign Channel, and from the Channel drop-down, you'll see LOD Hair will be here. I'll select on that and choose Assign. Now immediately you'll see, because we are far away, our hair got a bit thinner uh, in the perspective view. And what we want to do is kind of look in the camera view and gauge how, you know, how much hair we have and if it's suitable for that distance. Um, you can see that when we scrub the timeline and I go all the way close, you can see we get much more hair. And Hair from Guides in the latest version has been designed to kind of do this in a smooth type of way. Uh, and that's really what we want. So I can just go back down to my Generate Guide data and I can adjust some of these things. So if I'm close, I definitely want that maximum of one. And as I kind of scroll back, I can see some of that hair thinning out and disappearing. And I could just kind of tune it, like I said, for that camera. So maybe 0.2 is a little too much. Maybe just 0.5 would be fine. You could see more of that hair come back. So basically we have 50% of the hair generated. Now when we scrub through our timeline, you can see uh, as we go through, you know, the hair kind of smoothly dissipates but because we're at that far distance away, it's, it shouldn't be very noticeable and we don't have to generate as many hairs. This is one way to use the OX Generate Guide data. There's a lot of different uses for it. This is a good way to set up a level of detail for your characters in your scene. Hopefully that helps you in your productions and in your workflows with Ornatrix. Thank you very much.